This is a fruble. But wait, what is a fruble? Have you ever seen one before? Probably not. And if you did, you didn't know it was a fruble because I just made that up. And yet, in a fraction of a second, your brain can accept that this shape is called a fruble. I can ask you, what is this? And you can say, it's a fruble. Your brain has made a connection between the shape and what it's called. How your brain does this and how AI is different is what this video is about. Think about how quickly that happened. You didn't need hours of training or repeated exposure like a neural network. The moment you heard the word frugal and saw this shape, a connection formed in your brain. But here's something even more fascinating. That connection must have already existed in some form before I even said the word. Why? Because growing new pathways in your brain takes time, hours, or even days. Instead, your brain must activate and strengthen existing unused connections that were already there waiting for meaning. If we think of connections as having a weight, an unused connection is any connection with a weight near zero. In other words, your brain didn't build something brand new, it just strengthened connections that were already available. If you already knew the word frubal and were an expert with the shape, a frubologist we might say, then all you needed is that single connection. But that connection is more than a single synapse because you can now answer the question, what's this, by saying a frubal, but you can also respond to a request like, draw a frubal. Individual synapses are one-way devices. In order to make this two-way meaning, multiple synapses are needed to represent a single connection. But let's make this seemingly trivial example even more complex by assuming you didn't know the word frugal before, and might have never seen the shape before either. Now your brain would have to allocate some neurons and synapses to represent the word and more to represent the shape before it can make the connection between the two. The word will need more connections to represent attributes which describe how it sounds so you can recognize it when you hear it and so you can say it too. And the shape has another set of attributes which are so complex I'll describe them in another video. This suggests something fundamental about how learning works. Creating new neurons or connections is so slow that there must be a pool of available pre-connected neurons that your brain can allocate to new meanings and connections. Or, if your brain is already using every single neuron, then it must be constantly choosing which existing knowledge is least useful and repurposing those neurons for new ideas. That's why you forget things. Your brain isn't just passively storing data, it's actively managing resources. It discards what's unnecessary to make room for what matters. Forgetting isn't a bug, it's a feature. For memories your brain wants to keep, different mechanisms may come into play, which we can describe in another video. One difficulty is that you don't know what's important until some time after you encounter it. Your brain has no option except to store everything it can and subsequently forget the mountain of mundane or useless input. If your pool of available neurons gets too small in one area or another, your brain can grow more, but it takes time. That's why young brains are so good at learning. If you've learned all you can today, come back tomorrow and be able to learn even more with your newly grown connections. Here is a huge area where your brain and AI differ. In your brain, creating new neurons and connections takes a lot of time. In an AI, connections are just a few numbers, 
An AI can allocate new neurons and connections nearly as fast as it can change the weight of an existing connection. The moment I said, this is a fruble, your brain filled in a lot of information instantly. What color is a fruble? Well, this one is orange, but shapes usually don't have a defined color. Somehow your brain has deduced that the fruble is a shape and immediately inherits all the characteristics of being a shape, like shapes don't have predefined colors or sizes. What does a fruble eat? Well, nothing, it's just a shape. You have a lot of preconceived notions about what this shape will and won't do after just a single explanation. Can you stack frubles on top of each other? It sure looks like it. Will a fruble roll? Hmm, maybe. It's likely to be kind of lurchy though. Your brain is not just storing the words and objects, it's actively integrating them into your existing body of knowledge and model of reality. You can say the word frugal and recognize the word when you hear it. You can even recognize the shape of a frugal from a different angle or size. That's amazing when you think about it. This flexibility shows how your brain doesn't just store exact images or sounds. Instead, it builds generalized models that allow you to apply knowledge in new ways. Here are two frubles. Your brain instantly recognizes both of them. But how? Your visual system must be matching these images against a mental library of known shapes, which includes the recently added frubel shape. Whichever library entry fires first in your brain, or fires most strongly, is recognized as the match. But here's a problem. Only one shape can fire first or most, so this library of known shapes can only recognize one shape at a time, the first or strongest to fire. So there are only two possibilities. Your brain has multiple copies of the connections and neurons that represent the entire library of known shapes, or your brain matches shapes one at a time and switches between shapes so quickly that it feels simultaneous. Which one is it? Well, studies suggest the second alternative. This means that even though it feels simultaneous, your brain is actually recognizing things one at a time. So what does all this tell us about how your brain actually functions? First, learning happens by reinforcing existing connections, not by creating new ones from scratch. Short-term learning happens in seconds. The brain is just strengthening pathways that are already there. Second, your brain is constantly generalizing, applying old knowledge to new situations. That's why you knew about red frubles and blue frubles without hesitation. And third, forgetting is not a failure, it's a feature. Your brain actively discards information that it doesn't need to make room for more important things. This is why you might forget the word frugal by the end of the day. Or will you? Maybe, now that you've thought about it enough, this connection perhaps has been reinforced just enough to stick around a little longer. Artificial intelligence is impressive, but doesn't learn the way we do. I showed ChatGPT a fruble and then asked it a few questions, and the results were impressive, including this image of a person looking at a green fruble. It even proposed that frubles might be made of abstractonium or mathematics. At the same time, it wrote a few paragraphs explaining how and why AI couldn't possibly do any of this. So make of that what you will. The key to human intelligence clearly isn't raw speed or processing power. It's the way your brain structures and refines knowledge over time. 
Maybe one day AI will think as well as we do. But for now, only your brain can truly understand a frugal. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you still remember what a frugal is tomorrow, leave a comment below and join the Future AI Society for free to support our open source software development projects. And as always, thanks for watching.